From Miami to the Panhandle, the private information of thousands of people across Florida were exposed in a data breach used in an organized fraud ring. The suspects are accused of racking up a quarter of a million dollars in retail theft. And now seven people, all of them from Miami, are charged. Investigators in Sarasota say one of those suspects worked for the Department of Children and Family Services. Garcia, in a crucially important position as a state employee, took advantage of the system, took advantage of the taxpayers, and took advantage of people in need, including uh, both adults and children, all to facilitate a very elaborate network of fraud. Our Phil Buck has been following this story for us all day and tells us investigators expect the number of victims to continue to grow as more and more people realize that their information was compromised. Florida. This is not just a Sarasota crime. Uh, it ranges anywhere from uh, the panhandle all the way down to Miami. Detectives say Bertanisi Garcia, an interviewing clerk at the state's Department of Children and Family Services office in Miami, had photos taken from her computer showing people's personal information, which was then sent to other members of the crime ring who used that data to forge documents and buy expensive items. That begs the question, in a situation like that, what do you do? Well, Hoffman says it's not you, simple. Uh, I was told by our detectives there was a, a woman who was trying to purchase a home and her credit is uh, messed up and she's not going to be able to buy that home until this gets straightened out. I can tell you as a former prosecutor, I dealt with expungements all the time. I think you'd have an easier time getting a criminal charge expunged than you would cleaning up some of the credit reports that are going to come out of this uh, several thousand victims that we know so far. The thing is, you got to take care of identity theft right away because if you don't, I guarantee you it'll get worse. I think it, the typical average was something like 600 hours to try and resolve it. That's Lori Zook. She's a credit consultant who recommends not only keeping a close eye on your accounts, but acting quickly to protect yourself if you see anything that doesn't look right. And she's got some advice for you. First priority call your bank, change the account numbers, not just the password, plus whatever you have online has to coordinate with that. DCFS officials tell me that they are working to review the entire department systems to make sure that the best safeguards and procedures are in place to try and prevent something like this from happening again. But they add, Garcia's job did involve access to people's private information. She just chose to steal that information.